Okay. Morning everyone. So this morning we decided to make our way towards Deepcliff, which is the property that has our trails camp on. And we thought we're going to show you the diversity of antelope species that we find in the Clissary. There's quite a few of them, so it's going to be quite interesting. So here we have a young male clip springer. Now clip springers are not very usual to see, it's quite special, because they have a very specialized habitat niche that they need. So clip springer translates to rock jumper from Afrikaans and they have a whole lot of adaptions to help them with life on the rocks. First of all their, their hooves come to a very sharp point, almost like stiletto heels, so that they can get grip on almost sheer rock faces as well as the fact that their fur is loosely attached so that if they fall against the rocks the hair will come loose rather than grazing and hurting the animal. Anyone who's been on safari before will know that impalas are quite common. You often get to see them but because they are so common and there's so much information that is actually known about impalas. So here we have what we call a bachelor's herd. Now impalas are only territorial when it comes into the rutting season and it's brought, the rutting season is now the season that we are now May, June, July, that type of time of the year and it is brought on by the, the, short, the days becoming shorter which increases the testosterone which is the driving force for impalas to mate. One of the benefits of that driving force for mating is that all the, the, the females will, will become pregnant at the same time, which means that they will all give birth at the same time. Now, impalas, one of their main defense mechanisms is safety in numbers. If you have 100 babies and 10 are taken, it's not really going to be a problem for the later generations. So here we have a latrine. Now this is from an impala, or quite a few impalas, and now a latrine is what you where an area where all the individuals of a harem will actually come and defecate. So you'll find that there's quite a different variety of sizes and ages of, of dung. Oh, there's jackal dung as well. So jackals are known for using impala middens as well. Um, but you'll see there's old ones. Uh, there's little ones from young impalas and it's all because each member will come and defecate in the same spot. Now interestingly enough, in the rutting season the males will use this as a, as a territorial boundary but it's only used as a territorial midden uh, in the rutting season. After that then it doesn't really, really matter. Kudus, one of the largest antelope species that we, we have in our area. Uh, so, kudus are what they refer to as browsers, which means that they eat off the trees rather than grass. So, here we have a, a young male kudu. You can see with kudus, only the males will have horns, the females don't have horns. Um, and you can actually see that he's not very old because the horns haven't got to that massive size that kudus normally have. Um, what he's doing there is actually, it's two things, so antelopes will have a, a gland underneath the eye which they will mark territories with and then also kudus will shape and keep their horns in good condition by rubbing them up against trees. There he's having a little bit of a, a, a snack as well. One of my favorite things about kudus is they're so gentle as how they take those leaves off the tree. So they'll put the, the oh we got lions calling nice. so what kudus will do is they will put their heads right in between and just pick off the individual leaves around thorns and branches that, that's not really what they they won't get any nutrients from those 
So now we've made our way all the way down towards the river. We actually found one of the more water-dependent antelopes. So this is a water buck, hence the name. They actually can't go very, very far from water. And because of that, they have quite a bit of adaptions to, to, to help them with life at the water. So if you see her fur compared to other antelopes that we've seen, her hair is quite a bit longer and thicker. And that's just because at the edge of water, then the evenings it's a lot cooler than out further out into the bush felt. So that white ring is actually, it's a follow me sign. So it's for, to help other individuals as they're running through the bush and it's to help the youngsters follow mom. So here we have a common dacre, part of what we refer to as dwarf antelopes. So after spending a, a beautiful morning out, we got quite a few different antelope species from club springer all the way to water buck. Uh, just shows you that antelopes can be fascinating as well. 